everyone welcome to your energizing full body power yoga flow that was a mouthful <laughs> this workout this yoga flow is perfect for when you don't feel like moving or working out honestly right now i feel like i could use a nap but i know that i'm going to feel so much better after doing this opposed to taking a nap and probably just waking up more tired <laughs> so come follow with me and let's get that energy that body moving let's get started you don't need anything for this workout a yoga mat preferably or a soft surface you can even do this in your pajamas to be quite honest if i wasn't recording this right now i probably would be doing a yoga video in my pajamas so let's get started you look great let's get moving and we'll start in child's pose so bring your toes together knees as wide as your mat push your bum back into your feet and just reach your arms forward let your forehead fall down to the mat and just take a few deep breaths here breathing into your belly through your nose and for these first few breaths you can just let out a few sighs through your mouth <sighs> that's it a few more deep breaths, just centering here, landing here, just letting everything go and just being right here, not forever, just for now in your body, breathing. That's it. Stretching your arms forward with every inhale, sinking your bum back with every exhale. That's it. And on your next inhale, go ahead and come to all fours. Come to a tabletop position and we'll do some cat cows. You'll lower your belly, reach your gaze up, chin up, inhale, and exhale. Curl your spine, look down towards your belly button, and inhale, belly down, gaze up, look up, and exhale, curl your spine, looking at your belly button. And feel free to go in circles if that feels good. No one is watching. Remember, yoga is more about how it feels in the body opposed to how it looks. One of my favorite yoga studios actually doesn't have any mirrors in it and it's for that reason you really want to be feeling into your body when it comes to yoga so go ahead and curl your toes under go into your first down dog of the day you can pedal out your knees stretching out one leg and the other planting your hands into the mat and a tip for not letting all of the weight go into your wrists is really push into your knuckles and the tips of your fingers almost as if you're clawing the mat with your hands just to distribute some of that weight so you're not dumping into your wrists not that when you're ready coming up stepping your feet to the top of your mat to your hands take an inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale reach up rise up look up exhale fold let's do that one more time inhale breathe in exhale fold inhale reach up look up maybe even go to your tippy toes just getting that tallest biggest stretch and exhale folding forward now bring your hand your feet about hip width distance apart and just grab either elbow And you can sway side to side if that feels good. You can nod your head yes. Shake your head no. 
The point of this is just to release out your entire upper body. <sighs> Sit and bring your toes together and come up to that halfway lift, flat back, inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Let's get started. Reach up, rise up, exhale, fold forward. Plant your hands, step back into a plank. We'll go high to low plank, chaturanga. You can start on your knees, lowering down to an almost all the way down push up and inhaling upward facing dog. Chest is up, gaze is up, breathe in. And exhale, curl your toes under, downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths here, breathing in through your nose and out. Breathing in through your nose, grounding down into the mat and exhaling, reaching your tailbone high to the sky. And on your next inhale, lift your toes, bend your knees, and you can walk or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, coming back to that chaturanga, high to low plank, you'll reach forward on your toes. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat and bring your right foot up high. Go ahead and stack your hips. So one hip is over top of the other, knee is bent, almost as if you're trying to bring your heel to your bum. And go ahead and just curl or you wiggle your feet one way and the other way. I'm not sure if you can see what I put there. Just getting that hip stretch and bring it back down. Switching to the other side now, left foot goes up, bend your knee, heel to your bum, tailbone up high, grounding your hands into the mat and just curl your foot one way and the other, that's it. Shaking up every muscle in your body and plant your feet down. Now step your right foot forward. We'll move into warrior one. So big stance here, front foot at 90 degrees, back foot, or sorry, front knee at 90 degrees, back foot at 45. Reach up, sink into those hips and reach your arms up. Take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale, land. Inhale, reach up, exhale, sink into that lunge. One more breath, inhale, exhale, open up into warrior two. Arms stretch out, knees still at 90 degrees, back foot parallel to your mat. Imagine someone is pulling your arms in opposite directions. Go ahead and flip your front palm, inhale, reach back, exhale, come forward. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back and downward or chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Huh. Go ahead and take a deep breath in here. And side out. Let's go on to the left side now, left foot forward, right foot at that 45 degrees, reaching up, hips are forward to the front of your mat, reach up, look up, sink into that bend, breathe in, reach up, exhale, bend deeper, breathe in, reach up, exhale, fold deeper. One more deep breath in, and then exhale, open up into warrior two, front knee, 90 degrees, 
both arms reaching forward. Take a deep breath in, reverse your front palm, reach back, look back. Exhale, come forward. One more time, reach back, look back. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the front of your mat, step your foot back, high to low plank. Remember, you can always drop to your knees for these. Upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. And just coming back to your breath. Yoga is a dance of your breath almost. You know, you want to always be moving. Always be moving with your breath. Every inhale, landing, grounding. Every exhale can go deeper. We'll move into crescent lunge now. Reach that right foot forward. Plant it in between your feet. Back foot will come onto your toes. Find your grounding here. And when you're ready, we're reaching those arms up. Again, you can always come down to your knee for this, or if you're looking for a challenge, really waking up that body, come up to the ball of your foot, reach up, look up, rise up, and take a deep breath here. Bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna twist here. So bringing your left elbow to your right thigh here and then pushing into your palms, pushing them together so that you could really twist deeper here. Looking up, gaze to the ceiling. You can also plant your left hand, reach your right arm up. If that feels better, remember this is your practice. You get to make any adjustments that feel good for you and your body and how you're feeling today. Go ahead and windmill your back foot flat, parallel, arms up, back into that warrior two. Again, take a deep breath in, and exhale, just land into that front lunge. Again, let's take a flip your palm, reach back. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the mat. Bring the back foot back. If you're looking for a challenge, you can keep that leg up as you go down. Shut around back high to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Do the same on the left side now. Left foot goes up. Stepping in the middle, back foot on the ball of your foot. Reach up, rise up. Landing here again, using your breath to land here, grounding your feet into the mat. And when I say ground your feet or ground your hands, imagine you're literally like a tree just planting roots into the ground, finding that strength, that stability in your body. And also reaching up with your hands stretching up and opening up now into that warrior two back foot parallel to the mat front foot keeping that lunge and take a few deep breaths here looking over your left hand go ahead flip it reverse look back reach back and warrior two go ahead one more time reach back look back and hands to the mat, chaturanga. Knees on your knees, legs up. This is your practice. Let's go ahead and from <laughs> upward facing dog, let's go to child's pose. Just catching your breath here. Letting your forehead. Rest on the mat, catching your breath, coming back to that ujjayi breath. And if you're new to yoga, that ujjayi breath is just an 
audible inhale and exhale through your nose. And it may take a while. I honestly remember the day I did my proper Ujjayi breath. It's almost like breathing in is just a more audible, deeper breath. Through this practice, I promise it will come to you. If you can't do that deeper breath, just keep remembering to breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, the entire practice. Awesome. And when you're ready, we'll actually come into some back bends. So go down flat to your mat. Just go ahead and let one ear rest here. And the opposite ear. Just catching that mini nap. <laughs> you deserve it. And when you're ready now, on your inhale, we're going to lift up your chest and your legs. So just having your hands almost like a superman. We're going to go into bow position. So inhale. Lift up as high as you can, your chest, your legs, your thighs, your tummy, your fingers. Imagine someone is pulling your hands from behind you with every inhale. Can you go higher? One more deep breath in, reaching with everything you have, and exhale, fold. <sighs> this time we'll do that again, but clasping your hands together on your back just getting that extra support now in your back same thing forehead center reach up rise up breathe in exhale one more deep breath in coming up as high as you can and exhale fold bring that opposite ear to the mat and we'll go into floor bow so if you can reach your legs up bending your knees and reaching for the outsides of your feet so not the insides but reaching from the outside on both sides if you can't reach your feet feel free to use a strap a towel anything or just imagine pulling at them as close as you can get on your next inhale go ahead and lift up into that floor bow here reaching up using your breath to energize you to lift you up higher breathing in deeper with every inhale can you lift up even half an inch higher and release <sighs> and your windshield wiper your legs side to side slide them fall to the right and the left and then bringing them down, planting your hands up by your chest, coming up into that upward facing dog, coming forward now, bringing your legs forward onto your back. We'll move into bridge pose. So you'll want to bring your feet again about hip width distance. You should almost be able to touch them. Lift your bum. Clasp your hands, roll your shoulders underneath, and then lift up your hips. Lifting up your hips as high as you can with every inhale again. Can you go a bit higher? A few more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, grounding your feet into the mat, pushing your hands into the mat. One more deep breath in, reaching up as high as you can and release windshield wipe your legs that's it and now for the second one you could do that exact same bridge pose or we can move into wheel bring your hands by your head reversing them so fingers are pointing towards your feet 
And on your next inhale, go ahead, plant your hands, your feet, root them, ground them into the mat, and then lift up into wheel. Using all your breath here again to energize yourself. You can do this as high as you can. This is your practice. It gets to look like however you choose. Just showing up for yourself, lifting up, reaching up. You can do it. Another deep breath in and release. Go ahead and bring your heels into your chest. Just give yourself a big hug here. Let yourself rock back and forth. I actually haven't done a wheel in a while. That felt really good. <laughs> so now go ahead and we'll move into grabbing your hands or grabbing your feet. Moving into happy baby. And just wiggling back and forth, just giving your back that gentle massage after all the great work it's just done. I told you this would be full body, baby. We are hitting everything. And now everyone's favorite, at least my favorite, I hope it's yours too, abs. <laughs> Let's get started. So on your mat, we're just gonna do some scissors. Is that what they're called? Bicycles. I knew that was wrong. Bringing your legs to 90 degrees up and we'll connect with opposite elbow to knee. I'd rather you do this slower and actually feel the movement with your breath, then do it quicker so you can get a quick hundred in. So let's start reaching opposite knee to elbow. I'm gonna guess that was about six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9.50. Take a break if you need to. Pop back in when you can. Remember, this is your practice. You get to decide what it looks like. But are you mentally shutting down before your body? You know the answer. If you can keep on going, keep on going. Don't listen to that voice that says you can't do this because you can. Let's go. I lost count, but I'm going to guess we're at 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Let out all the ab drama, all the sighs. Take a deep breath in, reaching your arms, your legs in opposite directions, getting that full body stretch. <sighs> Bring your legs up when you're ready. And we're gonna do some rock and rolls. Rock and roll, nice and easy here. And on about your third rock, can you cross your feet, plant your hands, and come back into downward facing dog. That's it. Go ahead and just notice how your body feels compared to not that long ago. Maybe you feel more open, more energized, more awake, more alive, a little warm. Your heart is beating. 
feel that energy that you have created, that you have cultivated in your body. And get ready because we are going to do some nice relaxing stretches now. Reach your right leg up, bend it forward, we'll move into pigeon. So front knee, maybe hard to see, I feel like my body is blending into this mat. <laughs> my front knee is bent and right foot definitely not straight. Don't worry about your foot being parallel to your knee. Do whatever is comfortable for you. You just want to make sure you're not dumping into your right hip here. You want to be kind of balanced between your hips. Hips are facing forward and you'll feel it when you're in it. You should feel a nice stretch right about here in that hip. And if it feels good, go ahead and bring your body down. Just let your upper body rest. Maybe you go to your elbows like this. You can let your neck go. And uh, if it feels good for you, again, this is your practice, your adjustments. You can reach your arms forward and just let your head, your forehead down on to the mat. That's it. Just breathing into that hip. Coming back to that breath. Did you lose that breath? Not judging yourself, just noticing. Practicing being aware of how your body feels as you move, as you breathe. Sending that breath to your hip with every inhale, with every exhale. Can you release and fold? A little bit deeper, even a millimeter deeper, reaching your arms that one millimeter further, your back foot. <sighs> this is another one of my favorites. I could be here all day, but I did promise a quick body flow. So I'm <laughs> coming back up. To your hands, curl your back toe under, come out of this slowly. This does not have to look graceful, just making sure we're taking care of those muscles. We worked so good. And move back into that downward facing dog, planting your hands, planting your feet. Oh, feel the difference. I can't wait to do it on the other side. Lift your left leg high and swing it forward now to the front stretch your back leg back left leg is bent again finding your balance your position here hips are forward you're not dumping into either side coming on to your hands your elbows or maybe all the way down to your forehead reaching your palms forward Sending your breath to that hip. And just thanking yourself here for showing up for you. For showing up for yourself. For creating this energy in your body. For stretching your muscles. We store so much emotion in our hips. So if it feels deep, just sink into it. <laughs> it will feel so good, I promise you, once you release. <sighs> Beautiful. And you can just swing onto your left bum. Swinging on forward now. And we'll move into your shoulder stance. So there's a few variations of this. If you're by a wall, you can just let your legs up on a wall. I feel like that's the most comfortable <laughs> version of this, but you might not have a wall near you. The whole point of this pose is just to get your hips above 
um, your legs up, getting that blood flow the opposite way in your legs. So you could go like this, you could be on a wall. If you have a block, a pillow, it might feel really good to just put it underneath your hips, lifting your hips above your heart. And here you're just letting your entire upper body rest. Your arms are at your side, palms facing up to let your eyes rest. Just relaxing here. And if you'd like to take this a little bit deeper, you can move into your shoulder stand. So you lift your bum up and prop your upper body up with your elbows, with your hands, and just coming up onto your shoulders. Hence, shoulder stand. Doing whatever feels best for you. Honestly, my favorite is a pillow underneath. I'm just breathing into this. Can you just focus your attention on your breath moving through your body? Again, not judging it, just noticing where is your breath landing in your body? Is it in your chest, your belly? Can you take your breath a little bit deeper? Maybe noticing the thoughts in your mind. Again, not judging or forcing, but simply just noticing. Can you become more conscious of your body, of your mind, of your thinking, of your thoughts? And can you plant more energizing, positive, productive thinking into your mind right now? Moving that pillow, coming down if you're in shoulder stand. And bringing your feet down to the mat. We'll do supine twists. So just bringing your knees, let them drop to the right. So let your gaze fall to the left. You can bring your right arm on your knees. You can bring your left arm all the way out in front of you or bending your elbow. Just feeling that nice twist in your spine. And opposite side now. Elbows or <laughs> knees to your left, gaze to your right. And moving into our final position, Savasana. First, bringing your knees up, curl your entire body into a tight, tight ball, bringing your forehead to your knees, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze every muscle in your body, and just release the vashna. Let your legs fall wide, let your feet flop open. Let your arms just fall on either side now. And just give yourself this moment here. Just doing a body scan of your body here, resting your eyes for just a minute. And let your feet be heavy on the mat. Your calves, your knees, your thighs, just let go and relax. Your hips sinking in through the mat. 
Now your belly soften and relax your chest, your shoulders sink into the mat beneath you. Let your arms, your elbows, your wrists relax and soften. Let your fingers just naturally curl. Just releasing all effort and allow yourself to just be here. Let your shoulders, your neck, your head soften and relax. And feel how good it feels to just be here in your own peaceful presence, noticing how your body feels. Moving, creating energy in your full body. Now, what can you do for your mind? Just giving yourself this space, this moment to thank yourself for showing up, to thank your body for moving with you, to thank your breath. And can you imagine with every inhale, just breathing in more energy, more possibility, more light into your body, into your mind? And just setting an intention for the rest of your day. Maybe it's to feel this presence you feel right now. Maybe it's to feel more strong, more joy. Whatever that is, just setting that intention right here, right now, in this clarity, this peace of mind you feel. And when you're ready, just wiggling your fingers and toes, coming back into your body, back into the room. Feeling how good you feel. Thank you for joining me for this full body flow. And I will see you on the next one.